live again. I'm down. Well, we're reconnected again. Just like that, the magic kicked in and we are live again. I'm Stan and I'm down at the little shop of artists that I showed and took a picture of the other day. And I'm going to tell you what we're doing. This is called Tell Us More. Most small businesses open up on a shoestring, right? They've got ideas, they got talent, they got drive, they got vision. They have the what down, right? Right. Right. And they have, but what they don't have is they don't got no money, they got very little support, and they have no business plan. They just opened it up and they're going into business. Their concerns are usually like where to locate. Andre's already got that done. And the um, when are they going to uh, do it and who is going to help them. So that's why I'm here. I'm Stan and you're watching Tell Us More. This is going to be a live streaming event to help people tell, tell their story about their businesses. Whether you're in Warner Robins or whether you're in California makes zero difference to me. Hey, Danny. Hey, Melissa. Um, and so I want to introduce you to Andrea. Hi, I'm Andrea. Of? Of Little Shop of Artists. The Little Shop of Artists. And where are you at? We're down at, on Watson Boulevard in a very old building that has been in my family's business, in my family's, in my family for, <laughs> um, gosh, 50, 60 years. Um, we're, we're down at the police department end, the 247 end of Watson Boulevard in the old downtown. Um, we opened up here because Warner Robins wants to rejuvenate this area. And this building is fantastic. It is yes. history. And so, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going we, we're gonna to tell you who, what, when, why, where, the whole nine yards that about what the little shop of ours. I've walked around here and I'm telling you there is some really neat, neat stuff. Hey Joyce, both Joyces. We got the twin Joyces in here. Um, uh, I'm going to show you uh, some of the stuff that's here, but we're going to start with the first question. If some of you guys know who Simon Sinek is, his big question is why? So I'm going to ask Andrea, why are you doing this? There's a couple of reasons. The first one is there's not many places where you can get original art and affordably and I wanted to make sure that I gave that option to everybody because everybody needs a piece of original art in their home or, or original jewelry whatever um, the other reason is I think that come on up here a little bit closer too so they can hear you a little bit better. okay I'm sorry that's all right um, this is my first time live so you know, <laughs> work with me um, the other reason is that I really wanted to put this great building to a good use I want to bring something to Warner Robins that I don't think Warner Robins has enough of, and that's culture. So, so here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough culture. Okay, hey Not Joan. Enough art culture. Okay. Got Joan, sports culture. <laughs> Joan is over in California. Ron is is down in um, Jupiter, and uh, oh, Joan hey. is over in California, and she um, she has she she grows pralines on trees. It's an inside joke. <laughs> Um, okay, so now that we know, now that we know why you're doing it, I want to know like who you are, your family. Like, I mean, a lot of sure. people don't know in the area will be surprised by I was like who your family was and everything like this. And how long this building's been in your? In yes, your, mm -hmm. this building. Um, this is where my grandfather started out. His name was Olin Burke. This was uh, the trading post. Um, the little area where my shop is used to be a TV shop or a vet. He rented it to anybody and everybody that wanted to give him money because he was a very good businessman. I'm sure that anybody from Moore Robbins remembers Olin Burke. He was county commissioner. He was everything. Um, the building is still in our family. My father still runs Burke Realty. Um, he's Richard Gore. Um, I, I know everybody knows my mother, Mary Ann Gore, the infamous math teacher that won the presidential award. Um, I didn't inherit those business skills, nor did I inherit the math skills, but I like to paint. <laughs> so um, I took um, the opportunity to, to let me and my friends have somewhere to, to show our stuff, and I hope you come and see it. And there's quite a bit of stuff. We're going to walk around here in just a minute and let, you, let people see that, but just for the people who are locally, there's a lot of history in this building. I, I mean, a lot of history. This, for, for people that don't, that are here local know that this was the trading post. That's what this used to be is the tra trading post. And so, what does the shop do? What do y'all do? Here, um, I actually have a lot of friends um, who are, are talented and creative, um, and most of them are local. Most of them are here in town. So, what we do is we put our things in here, 
and offer them to sell or to show because most of us, our art is stacked up in our garage. Nobody ever gets to see it. So we're giving you an opportunity and a place to go. <laughs> and our spouses are happy because it's no longer in our garage. It's here. Um, it's a small place. We try to trade out things a lot. Um, but almost everything in here is original. And most everything in here was done by somebody you may have met, somebody who cuts your hair, somebody who does your mammogram, because I'm a mammo tech. That's my real job <laughs> in making. So, um, That's you know, very true. There's a lot, of, a lot of times people are very creative and their friends just don't even know it. They don't know it. They don't know it. I'm, you'd be surprised. I've had people come in here and they saw the signature on a painting and they're like, that guy cuts my hair. I didn't know he was an artist. Yeah, he's one of our best, actually. He's this guy. We're going to show, we'll show those in a minute. So the next question is, when do you get a chance to create? Well, as I said, I'm a full-time employee at Navicent. So Monday through Friday. Occasionally in the evenings, I try to, to get some time. But um, really, I'm here on Saturdays. I have my easel and my paints here. That's it. You know, from, from 11 to 3 on Saturdays and people come in and shop, I'm over here painting. Or drawing. Um, We're going to get to the question about when you're open. We're going to get to that after yes. we walk around a little bit because I want to get to people to see some of this stuff. It's like where they can buy it here, but they can also buy it. We're going to set that up where you can. They We're going to set it. that up. I do have a Facebook page, and I've had some people, um, you know, come. Um, I have actually shipped to Tallahassee, where my um, husband is from, for friends of his that saw it on Facebook. Um, and we just uh, did that over the phone. Um, but we're going to set up something that's going to work a little bit better because Stan here is great. He's going to help me out with that. <laughs> Joan says they have a Napa, California post office employee who's a highly acclaimed local artist. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, so they ought to put some stuff over here. They should. <laughs> coast to coast. So we're going to do this right now. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to turn this around. So that Andrea can walk around and show us some of the artwork here. If my finger works. <laughs> yes, it does. And I will tell you this. This was one of the first one I saw was Mark Ballard. That's the back of that. I got some stories about Mark. Mm -hmm. You can turn that around. This is an old print from 1985. I bet nobody has seen that. Mm. I have some others in the back. My aunt is a very good friend of Mark Ballard's. He gave her a lot of stuff. So I'm going to hand this to you. Okay. And now you can walk around and show people the stuff that you want them to see. Okay. Well, there's a little bit of everything. First, let's talk about um, some of these paintings from my hairdresser friend. He's a single dad. He is awesome. This is, um, he's very, very prolific. And his stuff is very abstract, mixed media. And actually, he has sold more art here than any of the other artists because people just love his stuff. Mm -hmm. um, here's my little work area that I was talking about earlier, but yeah, there's nothing to see there right now. <laughs> I have... Um, I like the texture on his stuff. Yes, he always uses texture. He uses stucco. He uses styrofoam. He uses... This is some handmade jewelry. It's hard to see this because there's stuff showing from the back. Um, but as you can see, these are made by a lady named Sue. Um, she makes jewelry, and she has a lot of the artwork here, too. She is super creative. Sue Atkins. Maybe some of you guys know her. I'm um, trying to get a little bit more light on it, but it's not working. Really it's, yeah. It's, it's um, okay. It's a very, yeah, it's a small area. We do have some things in here that, um, like this cute walrus. This little sculpture. Those are not done by local people. Those are things that people have given me that they really like and they wanted me to sell. Or things that I have... Um, what about this vase down here? Yeah, I found that at an auction. It's really old. It's hand-thrown. Um, everything in here is super affordable. But yeah, that one, it has a... Um, is this the one that's dated? No, it wasn't dated, but it is obviously hand-thrown. This is a newer one that was just pretty, so I put it in here. And the mermaid so, door has already been, somebody's already picked up on that. I think it was John. Yes, um, my husband brought this door into me and said, do you want this door? <laughs> this is my world here. <laughs> um, and so I said, sure. So he brought it in, and I just sat on the floor and painted it one Saturday, and that's what we got. Um, I went on Pinterest trying to look for ideas, and I saw 
something similar to that, so I thought that was fun. With this, by the way, this brass crab, yeah. you are not going to believe this. I have one of those that's about that big. Oh, you have a baby. I used to, but <laughs> guess, what, guess where it's at? My daughter. I just saw it at my daughter's house. That's I was keeping fun. Grandkids. See? Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of um, local guys, this is Chris Robson. He's down at the farmer's market a lot with his pottery. He makes this stuff from Georgia clay. He molds it. He, he has his own kiln and everything. I have a lot of his stuff. His stuff is um, freezer to oven kind of stuff, so it's really nice. Um, there's um, Here's a painting by Donna DeBerry, if you've heard of her. She was the one-stroke oh. lady. Um, yeah, I know from, Donna DeBerry. Yeah, it's from Hobby Lobby. This yeah. one, and there's <laughs> another one. This one, that's also Donna. So we have a couple of people that people have actually heard of. Um, there's a little bit of everything. I've really tried to be, to make sure that it, there's a variety. I painted a window. My husband, again, brought home a bunch of old windows, so we painted some of those. Um, this, this is by a lady named Rochelle that lives in, she lives out in the country, not too far from here. She's got a lot of neat stuff. She finds things in the woods. She sees something on them, and she makes things out of them. She's got a lot of driftwood animals. Um, I think that's a really nice one. I have sold all the rest of her stuff, so that's all I have to show you first. It is really nice. It is neat. I actually like this. This little room when I walked in mm -hmm. earlier today, like this is really unusual. This baby girl, what is this? Those are elephants. These are made by a girl named Oni Sanders. She is an OR tech at the hospital with me. She mm -hmm. makes clay elephants and buys jewelry and things for them. And then she, you know, just creates those. I had four of them and those are the two I have left. This one is called Baby Girl. You can see her face, she's super cute. This one is Peace Baby. And then there's a bizarre picture in the back that I'll probably <laughs> And then we have adults. I know adults. Yeah. <laughs> so, Martin, Here's Martin a Martin lot Robinson. of the old Mark Ballard prints that I was telling you about. Um, just some of them you may recognize, you know, these. Um, and then there's some older ones. My aunt um, had these for a long time, and she gave them to me to put in the shop for people to enjoy and to purchase if you like. Who made that? What is this? That's a, it's something that I picked up. Now see, when I see stuff that I call art, I buy it and put it yeah. in here. And I think I got that at a yard sale in St. Simons. It's probably something that you put chips and stuff on, mm -hmm. but it's made out of um, mahogany. Yeah, it looks like really pretty. Like yeah. And then here's some more of Kevin's stuff. Like I said, he's very prolific. And then... Um, there was a lady. <laughs> Go back to this red one. I just want to say, I just want to point out one thing to Mia Voss. Hey, Robert, Jane, <laughs> Mia Voss. This is called hot mess. That's right. That's called hot that mess. That is what it's called. Yeah, hot she, mess. She will love. She will love that one. So she, she can it. relate to that. Can oh she? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then you know, we've got golf. We've got flowers. We've got Victorian. I mean, there is something for everybody in here. Got a lot of little gift ideas. My parents are super supportive. Um, sometimes to a fault, they they bring me things to put in the shop, and I have to figure out if they work or not. And a lot of times they do. I mean, so there's just a little bit of everything. A lot of the stuff in there are um, are uh, like posters. Um, but then there are, and the reason this place is called Little Shop of Artists is because that's it. That's all it is. Our little 480 square feet. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I like this one right here. That's too, Kevin's. That's one of my favorites. Hey, Robert. Hey, Connie. <laughs> that is really, yeah. that's a really Frozen interesting. Frozen tree. He is a big fan of trees. He so, has a lot of trees. We're going to go back out here because we got about maybe a couple of minutes left on our trusty timer here. And we're going to switch this around, maybe. Put it back on our little stand here. And again, this is Andrea of Little Shop of Artists. Located in? It, in Warner Robins, Georgia on Watson Boulevard, 307. We're down in the old part of Warner Robins.
And if somebody has artwork that they want to put to display or if they want to get involved with you in this, how would they do it? They can contact me through the Facebook page, Little Shop of Artists on Facebook, or just to come over here between 11 and 3 on a Saturday. Um, I'm here almost every Saturday. Um, and that's going to get down to how we know when you're open. Correct. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. Nazim, Nizim, let's see, Rob, uh, there's been a lot of people in here. Robert Crusoe and uh, uh, Nazim. Nazim's from Italy. And, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and so what I wanted to uh, say was that she is going to start posting when she is open. That's my truck. Anybody that knows me knows that I work off of a timer, right? Remember we told you that? Yeah. Yeah. So if I can turn it, figure out how to turn it off, that would be awesome. Yes. But that's pretty. <laughs> yeah, well, it's tricky. But uh, you're going to be open, and you're going to start posting it on the Facebook page of when you're going to be open. Every Wednesday on my Facebook page between, say, 5 and 9 o'clock, I will make sure that I post. We used to be open every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, but because I'm being run by volunteers and I work in Macon every Monday through Friday, um, and every now and then I do like to go out of town on a Saturday. So occasionally we are not open on those days. Um, so I'm going to post every Wednesday if we're open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or which one of those days. My mother um, that we told you about, the math teacher, uh, she is tries to tries to work for me on Fridays. And I try to be here on Saturdays. So make sure you check that because we're doing our best to get open. And the more volunteers that want to come help, the more days we can be here. You have a special request. Nazim is the guy that's in Italy. He's a real fun guy. Oh, and, awesome. And he is, hey Brenda, he is asking to see a painting. So if you were going to show somebody a painting, which painting would you show them? What's your, I can't ask for favorites, right? Because there's no such thing. No, there's painting. no such thing as favorites. Um, I, I, I can show you one of my paintings. Hey, there that. you go. We can show. I'm an acrylic painter, but I tried an oil, so I'm going to show you that oil painting. Hey, Brenda. <laughs> that I tried. Brenda, by the way, you can bring yours down here, too. Let me Please do. So. Okay, so this painting right here is my oil painting. This one right here? Yep. It's called Southern Dragons. Those are okra plants. I know exactly what they are. Flies. <laughs> and I thought that was kind of fun. Yeah, so that, that was my... Um, my first, I'll probably paint another oil at some point, but um, I had a lot of fun with that. Yeah, a lot I, of fun. I was actually looking at that and going, hey, those are okra. Because yeah. a lot of people don't even, if you're not from the South, you might not even know that okra has flowers on it, right? Beautiful flowers. Yeah, they are, they're really pretty, and then they, yes. that's what turns into okra. Uh -huh. That's what it makes is. it okra. Yes. And we're going to show one more time around here before we go, hey, Trent. You know what? You didn't show those down there either, did you? No, I did not. There's just so much up here. There's so much in here to watch. I like this glass too, kind too. Hey, Ben. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. Here's painted rocks with encouraging words. Oh on yeah, the yeah, back. yeah, yeah. You know, the painted rock thing is big right now. Yep. Um, these were actually painted by Sue, my her daughter, who is my sister-in-law, um, has recently gone through chemotherapy for breast cancer. Sue would bring these rocks and they would paint them during her treatments and all the nurses went crazy over them. I suspect that's where the whole rock thing started, but that's just me. <laughs> um. Okay, so I, there's just too much for me to look at. I'm going to turn this around <laughs> and get back to it because if not... Well, we'll do some follow-up videos. Well, the, most of these people know that, that I'm, I'm such a shy, introverted... <laughs> you know, don't talk much kind of guy yeah. that I would probably be here all day just <laughs> letting it out. But I will tell you that um, if, if this is a new thing, for, at least for me, and it's going to be called Tell Us More. And it's just that. Tell us more about your business. Tell us what's going on with that. I've got a couple, a lot of plans go, uh, uh, in that. That's what I've been doing, by the way, just working on a couple of other projects. Yeah, yeah, it's shy. But if you want your business featured on uh, Tell Us More, then get in touch with me at stan at stanbush.net or just friend me here on Facebook and send me a private message. And uh, I'm, I'm going to figure out what days it's going to be. There will be a lot of other stuff going on. So now, tell the folks, bye. Bye. Hope to see you soon. <laughs> Peace, love, and understanding. I will see you all down the road.